What is up, guys? My name is Spark Midori, otherwise known as the Prince of Darkest, and this is a very different setup, very different intro, very different kind of video. See, something very unexpected happened today, and I had to rearrange our room to make this happen. I spent about a good half a day redoing this entire room to get it this way. So without further ado, I'm going to show you what I found. I found a uh, Diamond Aquas Hydrus today. I'm very proud of it. Um, there's a lot of story behind this, so I hope you're prepared. No, we're not doing We're not talking about that. That's back and gone to save for a different video. But if you guys remember a while back, I was busy playing uh, the Bakugan old the old Bakugan video game, and I mentioned that I had something very special coming. And this thing has been coming now for almost two months now. I'm sure it's two months at this point. And I was getting extremely worried. And every time I went to the post office, either it wasn't there, or their system was down because of load shedding. And if anyone here knows what that is, then tell me in the comments down below. If you don't know what load shedding is, I can't help you. It's a lot to explain. And really no one knows what's going on with it. But regardless, this thing arrived today, thankfully, because it was almost about to be trashed or whatever the post system does when there's just postage in your inbox and no one comes to pick it up and it's forfeit or whatever they do with it. It, it was going to be that next step, but thankfully the person that I talked to at the post office knows I come there every other day to come see what's in the post box, and she knows that I'm looking for something, a box specifically. So when she saw this package come through as junk with my name on it, she took this back and put it in the right PO box because this was put in the wrong box for the past two months. So I'm very thankful to that woman for keeping this for me. Oh, I almost dropped it. Um, so, before anything else, I just want to put out here, thank you, Vault, the person who helped me get this to begin with. Uh, an absolutely amazing guy. He was very cooperative. He was very calm, very collected. He was very helpful with me getting what's in this box. And I'm going to list up his Discord on screen right now, and his Instagram as well, because he's just such an awesome guy. And if you need Bakugan, you talk to this guy. This guy, he's got everything and anything you could want. I mean, granted, yes, some stuff he's not willing to part with, but you know what? That's just how collectors are. So, um, if you haven't guessed what's in this box yet, you're about to see now. So, thank you again, Vault. You are an absolute, what's the word I'm looking for? Saint. When it came to me getting this. Oh, okay, it's just, it's already kind of torn. It's battered and bruised. I've had this sitting in my room all day, and I was so hyped to open it. It's like early Christmas. This is a Christmas miracle to get. Ooh, that's lovely audio. Also, I'm not showing the, like, postage stuff there, because... That's um, very valuable information. And I don't want that out to the whole world just yet. So how do I open this without breaking what's inside? Oh my gosh, I can see it already and vault my dude, you are amazing. Okay, so I kind of know what's in here, but I also don't know what's in here because I wanted to keep half of it as a surprise for myself. Oh my gosh. I'm speechless. Absolutely speechless. This is 24. 24 OG Bakugan and a stack of oh! I'm saving that for later. Something else in here? Fault my dude, you are amazing. You are an absolute legend. Okay, I'm gonna go through these last because I know a lot of people want to see those first. But I also kind of need cards to open them out on, so I'm going to open this first. 
how I open this without like ruining the packaging. Because me as a kid, I was stupid. I was dumb. I didn't really take care of my Bakugan. So me being older and wiser this time around, I'm gonna take good care of them. Don't worry, Vault. I'm not gonna be like my young stupid self. And I wanna open this as carefully as possible. My gosh, you might have got a sneak peek of what's there. Holy crud. Dude, you are... Okay, I'm trying not to get emotional now, because this is just flooding me with memories. Dude, you are amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna save the ability cards for later. You put a few gate cards in here. And they're like, oh man. They are the OG Bakugan gate cards. As in, they have like the really old art. I love these. I mean, I have the um, the newer gate cards. I, I was honestly expecting some of those, but these are so much better. Okay, there's a there's a, um how the old game works. I don't really remember because you had like um, HPS systems and negative um, G power boosts. G power boost was the old B power. So, I don't know how a lot of these work. Like here, it says you're all Robotalians in this sector get double the HSP value. Um, I would just expect them, like in the in the newer cards, I think Robotalian in that circumstance would just get double the G-Power. Um, yeah, all Reapers get double this, all Fear Reapers get double this. This is just a standard card, there's no extra effect. Um, defeated, question mark, shoots another Bakugan. If it stands on this card, Capture the card, but lose one of your Bakugan. Okay, that's interesting. Um, this Falconeer art is very strange. But I like it. All Falconeers in this sector get double, okay. Um, all Serpent Lights get double. Okay. I'm gonna be trying to find, like, bigger sleeves to put these in, and these are going straight in a binder after all this is done. You are an, uh, you are an absolute legend, Volk, my guy. Okay, so now he put a bunch of ability cards, and the first one I saw put me over the edge. I'm gonna save that for later. But um, okay, I'm not gonna read all of the uh, effects just yet. If you guys want an in-depth run of this, then I will definitely do that on a later video. But this is gonna be way too long if I do each individual card in depth. So I'm just going to read out the names. If any OG fans remember this, then shout out to you. Okay, so you have Unexpected Guest, Runo's Launcher, Mirage, Runo's Throw, Summon Wave, uh, Teamwork Ventus, Hurricane of Fire, um, Tank, Taking You With Me, not Tanking, uh, Guard Hammer, Char the Earth, uh, Windmills, Golden Boost, Mira and Shun, Julie's Throw, Marucho's Launcher, Aquos 2, Julie's Throw, Bright White, G Power Boost, Meeting Place, uh, Gauntlet Blast, Triad El Condor, uh, Legionoid? I don't know how that's how you pronounce it. Um, Deadly... Deadly Link... Volin number six? Is that how you pronounce that? I could be wrong, but... At this point, who knows? Oh, damn, you might have seen the card there. I am so sorry, but we also got... um, <clears throat> Dan's Throw, Book of Power 3, um, help from friends, dark growth, darkness to victory, G power bump, see the light, and the card that 
gave me chills up my spine when I saw it and got me all excited. The Doom Call. I'm gonna read this one off because any fan of the old show knows this thing. Doom Card. Play at the start of the battle. The losing player's Bakugan is removed from game. Uh, the game. Your Bakugan gains G power based on its attribute. So if I'm playing a darkest Bakugan with this card, I get a 30 boost. And the opponent's Bakugan at the very start of the battle is is gone. It's just gone. You can't use it for the rest of the game. So from three Bakugan to two. Bolt, you are a legend. I am definitely buying from you again, man. Actually, I'm not even gonna use these ones because they are so awesome. I'm not gonna damage them. I'm gonna get my own gate card and I'm gonna roll these Bakugan onto that. Hold on. <sighs> okay, so here. I have an older gate card, you can see the difference. This isn't like a card I like, it's just one that's in good condition. You can see the difference. It's awesome. So I'm gonna use this to open these Bakugan. Oh wait, I should better position the camera so you can actually see the Bakugan. Okay, so first thing I wanna point out here, I remember putting a list of like 23 Bakugan but he threw in an additional Bakugan that I'm gonna let you guys guess in the comments down below. So that's the game for this video. I'm gonna roll out all these Bakugan and you have to guess which one of these he threw in for free. Well, I just said additional because he didn't really want it. Okay, so I remember I made a list and I can't remember for the life of me the list to the T, like what I asked for specifically, but I know most of them. So we're going to start with uh, this one. I don't know how to open you, and I'm going to be very careful because I don't want to break them. Okay, so I have all these background here. We only have one Aquas. So I'm going to roll this out and see. Oh, geez. Okay. Awesome. This is an Aquas Prius. That's awesome. He doesn't have a little slider though. Or he did, but like... Does it work anymore? No, I don't think it has a slider. Because like there's no um, attributes there. See, um, Prius was a Bakugan that if you rolled him, he would have a little slider in his chest. And the chest had different attributes. It had um, three different attributes besides his own. Or I think it had his own and two additional ones. And then, depending on the attribute that he showed in his chest area, he would be that attribute in the game. So this one is 450G. I don't know if it's going to focus. But it's 450G, so not the best, but still a good Bakugan in my opinion, just because I love it. Um, oh, then this should be another praise. Another praise. Yeah. Oh, this one has a slider! So this one... 400G, printed over there for some reason. This one has a slider. So there is Ventus. But if I um, do this, you can see it changes. Wait, let me just, um, I'm gonna close them and then open them again. And then you guys can see what I mean. So, um, he was Ventus, but now if I open them again, it is now, what is that? That's Chaos. And then he should have, um, Aquas, I think. Oh, did I break him already? And yeah, he's got Aquas. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, this one's a little stiff on the joints. I might have to, like, attempt a fix on that. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, wait. Okay, I'm gonna put these to the side. That's awesome. Okay, so that's the two prayers he gave me. Um, what else is here? What else is here? What else is here? This, I think, is B Striker. Okay, that didn't work. Okay, B Striker's a little stuck. There we go. Just a gentle tap. Oh, yes, because this one wing's a little floppy. 
this B striker has how much G? 380 G. Again, not the strongest, but a really cool battle gun. I remember I used to have a Heos B striker, not a Ventus one, but I wanted a Ventus because we saw a Ventus B striker in the show. Quite often, I think, maybe twice I saw him. Um, I don't know what this one is. Um, actually, no, I think it might be a uh, Lars Lion. Yeah, it is Lars Lion, and that opened perfectly facing you guys as well. Lars Lion was the, um, one of the, like, Bakugan guards. I forget the name, Guardians or, uh, Ancients or something like that. This one only has 310G, but a Chaos one? I love that to bits. Oh, and, um, Aquas, um, Preus. That's also, like, in the show, because Marucho in the old show was, like, the, uh, Winton equivalent, I think. I don't know. But, yeah, Prius Aquas was in the show. Chaos, um, uh, Lars Lion, or was it Lars Lion? I can't remember. That was that, um, Guardian in the show, and that element is exact. Um, this one is, uh, Tentaclear? Yeah, open towards me, though. Tentaclear. Tentaclear, um, if you guys watch the, uh, new show, or collecting new toys, um, this is basically Kloptor in the old show. No joke, this is this is old school Kloptor. And in Chaos, the the uh, attribute we saw most in the show. This one's 280 Gs, very low. But you can you can win with a gate card with that. Back on with the lowest G power wins. I forget the name of that card. This is Ventus L Condor. Yep, yeah. my L Condor when I was little also did that. See, when I was little, I had a, um, a six-pack. A six-pack was the first pack of Bakugan I ever bought. It came with a uh, Chaos Blade Tigrera, Pyrus Monaris, Darkest Fortress, Subterra Wormquake, um, uh, Ventus El Condor. What was the other one? Aqua Sirenoid. It came with those Bakugan. And my uh, Ventus El Condor also did that thing. Where it will like um come on now, right? Too close. He would like uh, roll onto it and then flop backwards, like this one did. But this one's whoa, this one's high. 660G. That is that is something powerful, my friend. Especially for uh like the first batch of Bakugan. That's awesome. Oh yeah, if you don't know what I'm doing here, I'm opening the manual parts of the Bakugan stand. Uh B Striker didn't have any, so he's just gonna flop to his side. This is... <gasps> I know what this is! I know what this is! I know what this is! I want this back on forever! Please open properly for me! No! Please open! Please open! Please open! Yeah! You opened! You are a Darkus... Harpus! Darkus Harpus! Harpus is a Bakugan that I've loved from the show since forever! And I've got a Darkest one. I mean, yeah, Ventus would have been cool, but I love Darkest one because I'm a Darkest boy now, and just Darkest would have been an amazing one to have because I love the color palette for this one. It looks so good, and it's 650 G. That is, that is a strong go. That is a strong heart. Okay, who's next? You are. I don't know who this one is. Damn it. Can I spin roll you? I can. What are you? Oh, there you open. Um, this is... I forget. I forget the name of this background. But this was the, um, the Ventus guard or guard or guardian like, um, Lars Lion. And this is Ventus, the home faction that came in in the show, so it's anime accurate just like this Chaos Lars Lion. But this one has... 420 G's. It has nothing to stand on. Oh, it does. Has a little, um, little butt feather tail thing there to hold it upright. Cool. Next up. I also don't know what this one is. Oh, this is, um, this is, um, uh, oh, I forget this one. But this is the th this was supposed to be the um the darkest god Bakugan, but uh, Vault didn't have any darkest ones. He was waiting to sell or any, I think. But he did have a Ventus one, so I took that one instead because why not? 
Oh man, it looks so cool though. It looks more like the Hydroid that we have today with six heads, but Hydroid today has five heads. So that's something. Okay. This is this is Griffin. This is straight up Griffin. That worked so good. 400 G's. And you know, I just went to Griffin because I'm using him in the video game and I'm making sure I keep him in the video game to the very end of the game. And I have my um, my darkest Hydrus as my first darkest Bakugan ever. So I just thought, you know, getting one of these would be the perfect fit. Oh, these are all B2, by the way. B2 was like the second batch of Bakugan to be released without the magnets exposed because the magnets kept getting damaged and stuck and stuff. Uh, these two, I know what they are, and save them for last, specifically. Um, they are... If it can open. Okay, no, just open for me this way, please. Oh, you're stuck. Waver! This is a Chaos Waver, sitting at 600G, and if you know who Wavern is, Wavern was like Drago's girlfriend in the TV show, kind of. Um... Everyone used to ship them and they kind of hinted towards it in the show a bit. But Wavern and Naga were the two Bakugan in the show that didn't have an attribute or faction anywhere in the show. So the fact that they released a Wavern in each element, I think they released one in each element or attribute or whatever, was very shocking and strange. But hey, it's there, it's awesome, and it's cool. So I got two. I got a Chaos one because that bug came out of nowhere. Yes, as I was saying, I got two because Chaos is the closest one to what the show actually looked like. And I got a darkest one because I'm a darkest boy and that one opened perfectly. And I love it for that because it looks super cool. And I actually ordered a darkest Wavern from someone else, not Volt, a long time ago. And they never actually shipped it. So I got my money back and I was always so salty about it. But now I got one, finally. And I'm so happy I got one. Okay. Let's move these aside and go on to the next bag. Whoa. Vault, you are awesome, dude. Okay, I'm gonna save that one for later because that one is super special. This one as well. Okay, so next up, I forget. I think this is Frosh. That one opens super springy. Frosh is the Aquas god, or guardian Bakugan. Frosh is native to Aquas, so I got an Aquas one. Vault, again, you are an amazing guy, so thank you so much for helping me get these Bakugan at such a good price, especially since they're anime accurate. They're so cool. So Frosh was basically like a giant frog in the show. Awesome, I never had him, so now I do. I love it, and it's an Aquas, so cool. This is a, I know what this is, this is a Terraclaw. Terraclaw, yeah! Terraclaw is a really good Bakugan in its design in the early show. I, I, you know what, some people might not like that, but I personally like Terraclaw. He's super cool. Because, like, his claws have different moving parts. Like, they, they just open naturally because of gravity, and that's super cool. Oh, wait, I've got this Frosh is um, 430 Gs, but this Terraclaw is 380 Gs. So, one thing I want to tell you, Vault, right now is. Thank you so much that you gave me some Bakugan with actually really good and high G powers like the Waverns at the 600 and 500 and Al Condor at 660 at the highest, I think, right now. Yeah, Al Condor is the highest, I think. Um, yeah, I think he is right now that I've, that I've opened. Um, and I love that you kept a lot of the, you know, this just might have been a coincidence so you just wanted to give me lower or weaker Bakugan. But Something you did, which I really love, is the fact that you gave me Bakugan that are like more anime accurate towards their G power. Things like um, um, Griffin being 400G or B Striker being 380G. Things that are expected in the TV show in that regard. They're not as broken and OP as some other Bakugan in the heyday. So that I really love. I think you said this one and this one have opening problems, but that's fine. Um, you said they need to give them a little tap. That didn't work. Yeah, this one's a little, this one's a little busted, but I can fix that. I can easily fix that. 
So this is another um, Terra Claw. I got it because we saw a lot of Terra Claw on the show, but mostly in Aquas. And this one is 520G. That is super strong for a Terra Claw. Um, this is Clayf. Yes, Clayf. A uh, little broken there. Clayf is the uh, sub Terra. Rest in peace of Terra. Uh, so Terra no longer exists in Bakugan. But um, so Terra was the Earth element. Or Earth attribute or Earth faction. Clayf was the um, the Subterra god or guardian or whatever you have to call it. Ow, I'm not opening that. That hurts my nails. Does that spin up? No, I don't think so. Um, where's the G power on this one? Oh my goodness. I wish I could focus the camera. That is 700 Gs. Holy heck. I might make Clayf into a Bakugan deck now. Like an OG Bakugan deck. I mean, yeah, we can't really play the game anymore, but that is so high. And he opens super well. Well, relatively well. Okay. Uh, who's next? I honest to goodness don't know who this is. Well, that didn't work. Oh, it's Warriors. Warius at 370G. Warius was a um, another Bakugan we saw. Not a lot, I think. I think we saw him averagely. But Warius was a very brute looking Bakugan. Very compact in this model, model though. 370G, not bad. Well, bad for the old game, but it's more anime accurate that way, I guess. This is a Aquas Monoris. My one also had that flipping problem. I have an Aquas Monoris. Um, one moment. Okay, my bad. I was saying Monoris. I meant Sirenoid. I have an Aqua Sirenoid like this one, but it has an opening problem. The side parts of my one, these parts, they don't open. Only the tail moves. So if I want to open this, I have to like force the tail forward and over. You can see my problem. So I, I just wanted to get a new one to kind of replace this one and how awesome it was to me when I was small. So yeah, Aquas Monoris, I mean, Sirenoid, awesome. I don't know why I keep saying Monoris. Maybe I secretly want Monoris, I don't know. This and this, the same Bakugan, I know this for a fact, but I got them because of the stereotypical Ravenoid swirl that Jet Kusa keeps talking about. Because they were super bottom heavy Bakugan way back in the day, Ravenoid I mean that you could do this really easily, like I just did in my first two times. So I got a Darkest one, because I'm a Darkest boy, and Pyrus, just because, well, Pyrus one looks awesome. So the Pyrus one is 430G, and the Darkest one is, what is that, 530. That is awesome. <laughs> they have manual parts, I'm just not opening them just yet. Um, here we have a Darkest Wormquake at, oh my goodness, 620. And look at the shine on this one. This thing is in prime, pristine condition. Thank you, Vault. You are awesome, man. Okay, so I used to have a Wormquake, but I only ever had one, and because I hated the design. Uh oh. Why doesn't this close? Okay, it has a similar problem to my Rattleoid. My Rattleoid won't close unless the magnet is working. Made a note of that now. Um. Oh, should I save this one for last? OG fans might know what this is. Okay, you know what? I'll just open this one now. This is a Darkest OG Dragonoid. Now, it's 400G, but I don't care because it's a Dragonoid and in Darkest. Okay, let me get this straight here. Well, let me get, let me point this out. I would have asked for a Pyrus one and the Darkest one from Vault, but he doesn't really want to part with the Pyrus ones he has. So I respected that and I instead asked for a Darkest one because I'm a Darkest boy now in YouTube anyway. So I got a Darkest Dragonoid instead. And I don't care that's 400G. I'm treasuring this thing with my life. In fact, it might join me in videos now. Uh, so I'm just gonna close him back up because he is my precious baby now. That's a little... 
Head's a little loose, but he opens perfect, amazingly well. Vault, you are an awesome dude. Okay, the next two Bakugan gonna have a special. This is a translucent Bakugan. Here, let me um, let me hold up Ravenoid, uh, who's a, a Pyrus Bakugan, up to this one. You can see this one's brighter because there's transparent plastic, which I don't know if Vault saw this when he was packing it because I'm pretty sure the transparent ones are rarer, but he put it in there anyway, so I don't know if that was a mistake on his end. If it was, oops. If not, thank you for this, because this is amazing. That is so cool. I've been recording for about 40 minutes, and I should probably get on with this. But this is a Pyrus... Oh no, I forget the name. But this was the um, the Pyrus god, or uh, Guardian Bakugan. They were sold in like three packs with the uh, Dragon uh, Drago and uh, Delta Dragonoid. And this was supposed to be the final evolution of Drago in that lineup, but it wasn't. It was the Guardian or God Bakugan. But transparent plastic here, amazing. Pyrus is a native faction at 650 G. That is awesome. And Vault, I don't know if you remember this. I could be wrong myself, but in my discussion with Vault about this bunch of Bakugan, he offered me an Angelo because I have a Darkest Diablo, but I don't have an Angelo. So he offered me a Subterra Angelo instead, and I said that was awesome. But I don't think he realized that he gave me, um, he gave me, um, he gave me an Angelo, but also a Diablo. You gave me two Bakugan, dude. In, in this one. I mean, I'm not complaining, it's awesome, but I think you might have made an oopsie there in your packaging. If not, and you did this genuinely, then thank you so much for that. You are an amazing guy, as, as I've said so many times before. Again, if you want Bakugan, OG Bakugan, this guy is your go-to guy. He does that at a fair price. He gives you genuine good Bakugan that work. Um, I think out of all this, only like two or three I've had to tap, which is still amazing considering their age. And they open super well. Ah. <sighs> now, Vault, you're an awesome dude. So this Subterra Angelo is 720G, and the Subterra Diablo underneath it is 300. But that's fine, because it's, it's a dual Bak... It's, it's the dual Angelo Diablo, which is rarer and super awesome. So yeah. Oh man, I love it so much. Okay. Recap. Okay, so now that I'm in my new position to try and explain all this, it's very awkward to sit this way with the back of God of you and my face. So let me get down to business. So this is a total lot of 24 OG, still very functioning, practically brand new OG Legacy Bakugan, well, not B1. I mean, B1's awesome, but I prefer B2 for some reason. That, and I feel you should keep B2 because it's an awesome collectible. We have, um, I forget how many of these we have. Seven really, really old and really pristine condition gate cards, I might add, and like 30 odd ability cards. Yeah, 32 OG ability cards, one of which is the Doom card, which is amazing. So yeah, once again, Vault's information is going to be up on screen right now for you guys to see. You want Bakugan, you talk to this guy. I got all this for 50 bucks. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's 50 bucks. I have to double check my slip now, and uh, future enemy put the correction on screen if I'm wrong. But I got all this for 50 bucks, which included helping pay shipping, which is awesome. And even though it took over two months to get here, or about two months, I am still so happy I got here because these were worth every penny. They work perfectly. They're closer to the OG things, the background in the series. Some of them have really high B power. Some of them are translucent and really rare Bakugan. 
Some of the cards are really rare, which I love. These cards are the rare ones I love. I could be wrong, they could be worth, well, worthless. They're the old, perf they're, the, they're the oldest cards you get and they're in perfect condition, which I think is awesome. Oh man. Vault, if you're watching this, which I'm sure you will be one day, thank you so much again from the bottom of my heart for helping, make, helping me make this video. And I almost started crying, I'm not gonna lie, when I was opening some of these, thinking back to my childhood days and looking at the cards and, oh man. Okay, so if you guys want Bakugan, like I said, again, Vault stuff's up on screen. Uh, I'm definitely going to be trying to get more stuff from Vault. So, Vault, you have a new absolute number one fan customer right here. Because these are amazing. You sell them at a good price, give a lot of stuff, and it's awesome. So, thank you all so much for watching this really long video. I think it's going to be long because I've been recording for about 45 minutes now and I think it's about time I gave it a stop. So thank you all so much for watching this video. Tell me out of these which you think is the one that he gave me for just random sakes. Like out of these. I remember which one it is and I have my texts with him to confirm this. Also tell me out of this lot of Bakugan which one is your favorite out of this lot. Because I'm just curious. Okay, so, oh, and also tell me one Bakugan you think I should try and ask Bolt for in the future, maybe, to order and show you all again in the future. Okay, so I don't know when this video is going up. Again, I should have said that earlier, because I'm opening this on the 23rd of Christmas, uh, December, and I don't know if it's going to be up in 2020 or 2019. Hopefully up before 2019 finishes. So, if it's, if it's Friday... Happy late Christmas, if it's early, Merry Christmas everyone, and Happy New Year. Thank you all so much for watching again, stay strong and battle on battle problems. Bye bye!